Unearthly Forest. Item number, SCP-1660. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1660-1 may be safely kept in a locked safe deposit box at Site Blank Storage Facility. Standard Positive Action Defenses, Explosive, Chemical, Biological, and Mimetic are to be in place at all times, according to Standard Operating Procedure. SCP-1660-1 is to be kept away from flammable materials, unless in testing. Under no circumstances is SCP-1660-1 to come into contact with fire-related SCPs, such as SCP-. In the event of SCP-1660-1 igniting outside, testing personnel are to evacuate the area until all flaming materials are extinguished. Due to only being accessible via SCP-1660-1, SCP-1660-2 can be considered to be contained as long as SCP-1660-1 is. Any animal life that emerges from SCP-1660-2 during testing is to be captured pending study and possible termination. Description: SCP-1660-1 is an elaborately decorative oil lamp made from silver, coral, and the shell of a nautilus. Its anomalous effects activate if a fire is lit inside the chamber of the Nautilus shell. Upon ignition, the fire will, regardless of materials used, begin to emit large amounts of smoke. The smoke will begin to gather forming an arch-shaped gate in the air, approximately blank meters across. The size and stability of said gate will fluctuate based on the amount and slash or type of material being burned within SCP-1660-1. In the event of SCP-1660-1 being extinguished, the gateway will collapse rapidly. SCP-1660-2 is a miniature parallel universe, consisting of approximately blank square kilometers of temperate forest conditions, which can be accessed by means of the gate produced by SCP-1660-1. Around the edges of SCP-1660-2 are walls of an as-of-yet unidentified mineral rating up to blank on the moss scale. Testing with diamond drills have been unable to damage the mineral while rapidly blunting drill bits. Roughly a kilometer above the treetops is what appears to be a layer of data expunged. All aerial exploration is to be performed with unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, following incident blank. Attempts at drilling below ground have revealed that a crust of the same unidentified mineral making up the walls exists approximately half a kilometer under the entire area of SCP-1660-2. List of animal species within SCP-1660-2 Ursus Arctos, brown bear. Specimens show no fear of humans. Autocoileus virginianus, white-tailed deer. Specimens show no fear of humans. Myotis lucifugus, brown bat. Specimens prefer to rest in trees hanging from thick branches rather than in caves. Boasiel atricopilus, black-capped chickadee. Specimens possess small notched ridges inside their beaks, serving as simple teeth. The reason for this is unknown, as specimens do not feed differently than ordinary chickadees. Anax imperator, emperor dragonfly. Specimens have been seen to reach sizes of up to blank millimeters. How they are able to breathe via spiracles while at these sizes is unknown. In A, SCP-1660-3, Unidentified Flightless Bird. A large flightless herbivorous bird, somewhat like an emu. In A, SCP-1660-4, Unidentified Small Reptomammal. A small creature resembling a scaly, egg-laying fox with external ears, warm blood, and whiskers. In A, SCP-1660-5, Unidentified Eyeless Feline. Specimen resembles a cougar. Puma concolor, or other type of big cat, apart from lacking eyes, and possessing forward extended rat-like ears, and the ability to echolocate. In A, SCP-1660-6, Unidentified Giant Turtle, a creature exactly identical to the common box turtle, Terrapine, apart from its size, with adults reaching up to blank meters in height, and having proportionally smaller eyes. In A, SCP-1660-7, Data Expunged, a two-meter-long, extremely dangerous reptomammalian creature resembling an armored, bioluminescent, data expunged. SCP-1660-7 are pack-hunting predators comparable in behavior to wolves, although they do not fear humans and are capable of climbing trees or the walls of SCP-1660-2. 
Due to their lack of fear for humans, they have been noted to attack personnel in SCP-1660-2, frequently killing them. Under no circumstances are personnel permitted to approach SCP-1660-7 specimens for this reason, as well as data expunged. List of plant species within SCP-1660-2 Quercus nigra, water oak, normal. Quercus hypoleucoides, silver leaf oak. Specimens grow slightly faster than ordinary members of their species. Quercus aliena, oriental white oak. Specimens grow considerably larger, reaching up to blank meters in height compared to ordinary members of their species. Pinus densiflora, Japanese red pine, normal. In A, SCP-1660-8, unidentified moss. A rapidly growing type of moss of unknown species, covering other plants and the walls of SCP-1660-2. History. SCP-1660-1 was recovered on blank by Agent Blank, a Foundation mole from blank, a front for Marshall, Carter, and Dark, who were selling safaris into SCP-1660-2 to hunt local wildlife, primarily SCP-1660-5, SCP-1660-6, and SCP-1660-7. Classified. Level 4 personnel only. Confirm. Document Alpha SCP-1660-7. Report from Director Blank. The information in the article that you've already read left out, or more accurately expunged, something quite important. SCP-1660-7. They aren't simply some kind of dangerous predator. We said that to keep personnel away from them. They're sapient. Their forepaws are jointed to work like human hands. They have simple tools. Fire and a language of their own based on bioluminescent patterns. It is their cave paintings, however, which interest us. Crude humanoid figures holding sticks and killing with them at a distance, shooting projectiles. Then a battle with the same sticks, new figures, and the end of the killing. And the symbol copied off the new figures. The symbol in front of which they leave food and sacrifice. The symbol which they smear all over things with ash and plant pigment or claw into trees. The symbol of their gods. Two rings, one inside the other, with three arrows pointing inward.